Hello and welcome back to Let's Run Around in the Dark Palace. <clears throat> I just got some water and my throat's still giving me trouble. So this is the door that we opened, I think. No, it isn't. I lie. What are you talking about? Because it doesn't go anywhere. Yay, going the wrong way. Uh, I just came out of that door, so I need to go pion. And then go pion. So many doors. Kill you. So I was talking about what I think would have happened with Secret of Mana had the CD add-on take place, taken place. For one thing, I don't think Secret of Mana would have been as popular as it was coming out on a cartridge because not a whole lot of people, as Nintendo's reputation has indicated, not a whole lot of people have actually bought uh, accessories and add-ons for systems. Nintendo, Sega, and all of those can attest to that. Which one has the whip? The Sprite. So, I think it was glad that it, uh, good that it happened, but at the same time, I think the, the game could have been a lot better than it is. And the game is already good, but you can tell that there's areas where they cut corners. Uh, for example, not all of the weapons have eight orbs or nine orbs or however many orbs they have. And areas like this where it just says, okay, go this way, okay, go that way, okay, go back over here, etc. I think that the story would have been more fleshed out, but the, the company had to kind of cut corners because they had planned a bigger game and then they had to downgrade it and, and put it on a cartridge. And I don't know if they were actually finished with the story or not, but I am inclined to believe that they were not finished with the story when they found out that Nintendo was not going through with their CD add-on. What about the girl again? So, I think that the story would have been fleshed out a little more. And I think the game would have been a lot more like Sick and Insetsu 3, which I am going to play on this channel. Eventually, as soon as I get all of my other shows and programs and stuff into a, a more regular rotation. Um, yes. Speaking of which, would you like to see on my channel, see me do a vlog where it's just my face and my blank wall behind me and maybe some random silly music in the background talking about the updates and news and, and status of different things uh, and projects on my channel or would you like to hear me do that in the middle of the game because you can probably tell it's really hard for me to do that while I'm playing a game uh, it's easier for me to talk about the game when I'm playing the game than it is for me to talk about other stuff and actually be competent and it's even harder in platformers and such for me. It's in action games, really. Uh, already went that way and pushed that button. And that button, I think, made a staircase somewhere. Blah, blah, blah. But we already used it. So now we need to come back up here and we can finally go down that path that we just so roundabout, uh, using a roundabout path, did. I think a lot more of the puzzles uh, using a roundabout path unlocked is what I was trying to say. I think a lot of the puzzles would have been more fleshed out in this game, too. And I know it may seem like I'm talking bad about the game, but really what I'm talking about is the, the circumstance of the game and, and how sometimes marketing and, uh, and product costs and things like that make a product... Sometimes I think that they're not willing to take risks on certain things, like Nintendo not wanting to do the the disc add-on, and I don't know the whole story behind that thing, but that's one of the reasons that I like the indie gaming market is because they're more willing to take risks. And back when this game was out, I don't think there was a very existent indie market. I mean, I guess every camp company was an indie company to begin with. Uh, like id Software and stuff like that, they were, they started developing games like Wolfenstein and Doom in their garage, I think. Um, this is the first instance of the Invisible Paths, and I really like them. I was thinking they were in the Fire Palace for some reason, but apparently the first encounter is in the Shade Palace. So yeah, 
I like that the game was actually made anyways, instead of being canceled like the first Seeking Densetsu game was canceled. It was originally going to be on the NES. And it's going to be a completely different kind of game. Um, there is a game that came out on the NES, but it didn't come out in America. That is a lot like what I would have imagined this game being on the NES. Being like on the NES. But I guess a game that everybody has heard of before that is similar to this would be a game like Crystallis. Which... I like Crystallis alright, but I am not a fanboy of Crystallis. I prefer the Super Nintendo type games like that, like uh, Soul Blazer in this game and Legend of Zelda. I just don't think the technology to make a very good action RPG was around at the time of the Nintendo. And the best games for the Nintendo that were like that were games like The Legend of Zelda and Crystallis. Uh, and a lot of the ones that would have, that I think would have gotten popular if they'd come out in America, didn't. They, uh, Japan was of the frame of mind that I don't think the American audience was ready for it. And here's the boss. This is the boss that can snowman you. So, my recommendation at this fight is to spam this boss with magic. I guess I'm going to use ice. He can change his elemental attack, but um, you don't know what it is. You just have to guess by using the different magic. So right now, not right now, he's using dark magic. You, you can tell by what magic he uses. See, now he turned red, so I think... Oh, okay, his color does tell. So he's fired now, so I can use water on him. No? What is he now? Maybe if I use Earth? I don't know. Generally, the only way you can tell is by what kind of magic he uses, and he's using some kind of blood drop right now. It's not very telltale. So hopefully I got... Oh, it's fire. It is fire. I tried using water. It didn't work. Didn't I? Okay, I need to switch over to the girl because he engulfed the guy. Well, let's try water again. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Or maybe I ended up using water during the... No? Well, I guess we do have to fight him until he changes colors. Okay, now he's green. So what's the opposite of green? Air. I love this music so much. No. Shenanigans. Okay, forget everything I said about this boss. I have no idea. Or maybe he keeps changing elements. Okay, there we go. I'm just spamming with fire. Uh, okay, and oops. I hit it too soon. Yeah, Salmando's still out. He has a really slow animation. I love this song. Oh, I'm Snowman now. Oh, I need to heal. Okay, see? See how good I am at paying attention when I'm... She's the one that could make herself on Snowman. That's awesome. Medical herb. On poor him. Yeah, that works. Okay, I'm still the boy. So let's use Duple Hopper's magic here again. Okay, the girl died. That's great. I'm not as worried about the girl dying, but I am going to use a couple wishes on her. And yes. Man, concentration. Not my forte right now. So let's just keep using magic, magic, magic. Okay, wow. Even though he's red, let's use fire on him. Maybe you're supposed to use the ma- Maybe you're just supposed to keep using fire magic on him, I don't know. Stop killing my people! Way Not paying attention. See what I meant by I need to level my characters up? <laughs> this guy's crazy ridiculous. This is one of the first truly difficult bosses. That is the magic that you get from this area. One of the magic you get from this area. So that's something to look forward to. That's called um, dark, dark matter or something like that. Or sh I don't know. He's almost dead. Oh, brother. 
Let's use some of her fire magic. I don't know what to say. Oh. <clears throat> Other than that, did horrible against him. So he's shrinking, can you tell? We're shrinkifying him. So why did the girl's fire magic not work? Whatever. I don't understand. Hey! No, 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 no. Um... He started using... That's another one of Shade's magic spells. Is he dead yet? Come on, die. Die like a slime. Whatever that means. No! Okay, I'm just not going to be able to pay attention until he dies. Okay, so I don't even remember what I was talking about. Other than... Something about this game being better in indie games or something. Blah, 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 blah. I would love to be able to make my own game. Apparently, I'm very opinionated. Speaking of indie games, I have been following Wolfire Games. I think it's W-O-L-F-I-R-E. Wolfire. And they've been making a game called Overgrowth. It looks really cool. They're the same people that do the, the Humble Bundle things. Shade Magic! What are you doing? You defeated my slime! How dare you defeat my slime! Shut up! Obey me! Join me! Oh, I see you have other elementals with you. Well, I'll come with you too. You got shade! And this is the first instance of what I think, again, would have been more specifically implemented as if the game was more fleshed out. Shade magic. You have the three here. Dispel, and Dark Gate, and... I, I think it's called Dark Matter. I can't remember. But if you look at the girl, look, she still only has four magic spells. And he has five. It's a character-specific magic spell. I think that's cool. I'm gonna switch over to the sprite, because the sprite's awesome. You can touch the thing. This is the blue palace, and everything's all bluey and blueness, and blue flames. Yes. Kinda reminds me of blue flames. No, it reminded me of Dragon Warrior 7, I think, on the PlayStation. The temple where you have to light the things and the things and the things. So now if we go here, we can look and see we have five orbs and there's there's a gap between fire and shade. Meaning that we didn't necessarily get them all in the right order. So what we would do here now is we would go and talk to Jock again and he would say, I'm not here, I'm in a different place, blah, blah, blah. Or, or Jock's not here. Wait, what am I doing? Yeah, see, I can use it in here. Why couldn't I use it in the other place? So then you would come out of here, and I'm just going to skip the whole Jacques thing again, because I don't want to talk to Jacques, because he's a jerk. Jacques is a jerk. Yeah, that's right, I said it. Jacques is a jerk. Um, and I'm going to go to Gold City. So Gold City is east of here, I believe. Ah, here's Gold City. Man, I need to... I need to learn this map. I'm gonna show this map at the end of this video so that I can familiarize myself with the overworld and you can familiarize yourself with the overworld. So here we are back in Gold City. So of course, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go to the item shop and buy all that stuff we couldn't buy last time. What all did we buy here last time? Why is every song so epic? In this game, I like it all, even down to the stupid songs. There aren't any stupid songs. Okay, I got the Lazari rings, and I don't think I bought any of that stuff here. So let's see what you have for sale for sale, my, my fellow salesman. Lazari rings. Okay, that I can buy exactly one of. Yay! What else can I buy? I can buy one of those. And they have those lion helmets, so... I'm gonna get them one of these. Ooh, I think I can buy that too. Sweet! Stocking up! One by one, we're getting it done! Sweet! Okay, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? I got you a... Wow! That's awesome. Let's throw one of them there buddies on you there, buddy. Let's see what that does. Wow. Oh, I love the weapon in this area. 
And even if I had weapon, uh, armor in this area, and even if I had the money to buy all of the armor, That's incredible! Can she wear that? Yes, she can, and she will. No more bikini for you, girl. Um, even if I did have all the web the armor here, and I will get all the armor here, this next area is going to be hard. Way harder than that lime slime fight there. Okay, let's sell this. Whee! And this. Man, I'm, I'm having a hard time distributing the armor effectively here. So let's get rid of that, because that's the most expensive thing. And I don't think I can buy anything else here, but I'll try. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I have all the rings. I need the armor. Yeah, I can't even buy anything. So, this is an area where if you're playing this game and you don't know what's going on, you will get lost. Because, if you come up here to the Gold Palace, and you knock on the door, they say, nobody's home, come back later. No, that's not what they really say, but what they're saying is that the door is locked, and it is very convoluted how you get in there. But, you see that guy up there? Guy with the little helmet? You need to go talk to him, and this is the only way to get to him. Walk all the way around Gold Town's walls, which makes no sense why they have walls, because they're on an island. And right next to the walls is the ground. I mean the water. I mean whatever, you know what I mean. I guess they're protecting their gold walls. Uh, their gold trees are outside the walls. Hello! Oh, you know that lady? That lady Mara? Well, I used to be friends with her husband. I think she's the one that has the key to the thing. The gold palace. So yeah, apparently Mara has the key to the gold palace. So, in the next episode, I will go talk to Mara or Marla or Marla Sanger. I don't know what her name is. The lady that was in that city that gave us the password. I'm Tarquin, this is Secret of Mana, thanks for watching. Alright, welcome to my overview of the Secret of Mana world map. And we will start with the bottom middle of the map, which is where we started in the game. That little square area with all kinds of stuff going on to the left of the mountains is... The, uh, the middle of it is Gaia's Naval, and uh, northeast of that is Potos, and Southeast of that is Pandora, and northwest of that is Eleni's Forest, the Haunted Forest. And above that, all the green, is the Upper Lands, and below that little crescent-shaped mountain range is Matango, and to the northwest of that is the Kakara Desert, and the little purple circle there uh, inside of the mountains is the Moon Palace. And down to the south of that is Tasnica, the place that I kept having a hard time finding. And if you wrap around on the map and you go to the far southeast corner, that's the sunken continent. The continent north of that, with the two small mountain ranges on it, uh, South Town is in the middle, and North Town, the bigger section, is on the top part. And to the northwest of North Town is the uh, Ice Country or, or uh, Winter Country. I think it's called the Ice Country. And right in the middle of the map, that little island is Gold Town, which is where we're at right now. And in the top left-hand corner is a place that we haven't gone yet, but it is called the Pure Lands. And right now it just looks like a volcano. So that's my overview of the Secret of Mana world map. I hope you liked it.